I've had the building here for quite a while and I've always had a little interest in like an old fashioned stuff. I'm interested in everything old and so I would like to create a little old fashioned looking type ice cream parlor. Brayson's is basically I put my two twin grandkids, Brady and Mason together and put a name together with Brayson's, okay? So uh, I couldn't really think of something but after I put it down and it started saying it over and over, it almost started to sound like a an ice cream parlor, so that's what fueled me to go ahead and do that. We have uh, 30 flavors of ice cream here, so myself, I like to look at my ice cream before I purchase it, so that's the kind of concept I wanted it, so everybody can taste it and see what we have. And uh, that's pretty much it. It was a simple decision, build it the way I want it, and whatever we could do. We have so much space, and I try to make it as, as as cute and as uh, comfortable as we could. What we've done is we've put in as many flavors as we can fit in the place. If I could put 10 more, I would. We offer a variety of 30 different flavors. We also offer non-dairy, which is very popular, okay, vegan ice cream. We have sorbets, we have sherbets, okay, and we have 30 other flavors to choose from. So we try to make a variety for everybody, okay? We switch out flavors. Maybe once different weeks, we'll put in some different flavors, okay? We offer different cones. We have regular cones, cake cones, waffle cones, sugar cones, waffle bowls. We make ice cream sandwich cookies, which are fresh baked every day. We have brownie sundaes, which are also baked fresh every day. Um, along with that, like I say, we have over a dozen toppings, okay, regular sundaes. So pretty much whatever an ice cream stand, banana splits, whatever an ice cream shop can offer, we're trying to get to that concept right now. So I would say the best of our ice cream wise are peanut butter ice creams. Okay, I would say uh, probably by far it's probably our best selling ice cream, but if you like peanut butter, once we give you a sample of that, it's, they usually don't go back to another sample. That's pretty popular here. We're also not just a family fun place to be and have ice cream. We're also dog friendly here. Uh, I have a lot of dogs in the neighborhood walk up. I give them free ice cream, okay? I have dogs in the neighborhood that uh, the owner says they can't even walk this direction because the dog pulls them to the ice cream store because they know they're getting ice cream. So it's sort of cute and we do have a, a lot of dogs. So if you have a dog and you want to get some ice cream and come up and visit our place, please do. I'm pretty much here every night. I got a lot of customers starting to know them by name. So I think that's part of it. And that most of the time the girls will tell you, I spend a lot of time out there talking to people. So I think that's the funnest part of it really, just getting to know everybody. We can have a lot of conversation, find out what people are doing. So, 